Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. It's time for another daily dose of Dismal Daphne. No, Dismal I, Daphne. I don't know. We're going to talk about uh, just kind of a, a, an ironic situation with current Daphne Blake voice actress Gray Delisle. Now, look, I don't or haven't had problems with her in the past personally. Um, I actually think she does very good work. But uh, there was an incident a couple of weeks ago with a young YouTube animator, Egan Tillman, and we actually had him on our podcast on DRES. Very nice kid. And uh, she blasted him for using AI voices in a Scooby Doo fan she, film. She thought it was her voice. She thought it was her voice. Now, actually, I think it was Heather North's. I think it was uh, one of the, the other Daphne's before her. But she's like, well, the point still stands. AI is bad. You shouldn't do that. And people shouldn't support it. And I'm going to personally make sure that you are banned from the, the animation industry. Yeah, that's... Because we don't want to support AI. That is... Yeah, that's what I had a huge problem with, was her saying that she was going to get this this kid banned uh, from the industry over... A, you know, it wasn't even a mistake. It was like, look, you, you can agree to disagree, but it wasn't a huge deal, and it was a fan film, whatever. Well, now... <laughs> Now we have another incident with AI and Great Delisle. Apparently, she paid a bunch of money for this painting of Daphne, only to find out that this has been AI generated. Oopsie yes. doopsie. And she was promoting it and being like, hey, everybody, you know, uh, I've got this great new print at my booth and I'll sign it for you and whatever. And people were like, um, hey, Gray, that's AI. Maybe, maybe they need to, to, to ban Gray from the animation industry for supporting AI and, and putting um, actual artists out of work. Yeah, right. I know, right? Like, how could you do that? You should know better. Oh my God! Everybody you should, should just band together to, to band get together her blacklisted. To blacklisted. Not. I'm just like this is stupid. So we'll we'll talk about it because I mean, look, this is gonna happen more and more. Okay. Before we get into it any further, guys, got to give a hat tip to the uh, person who sent it to you. I think it was Jaggins Junk had Jaggins mentioned Jaggins. if I'd okay. seen it, and I said I didn't see it, and I sent it to you, and then you saw this. Yeah, so I saw an article about it. So uh, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys, for sure. Um, we've been, kind of, like I said, we've been kind of covering the situation with AI art. It's very interesting uh, producing content ourselves uh, with me, you know, drawing stuff. It's it's like, it's not going anywhere. I mean, AI is not going anywhere. It's just that the best you can do is, I guess, have, have more ethical use of it and be more transparent in the, you know, how it's being used, but it, it is going to, for, it's going to put people at work. I mean, it's, it's going to, there's, there's no denying it, but I just think it's highly ironic. Yeah, the irony is so strong. That Gray Delisle was promoting obviously AI work. I mean, most artists would take a look at this and be like, this is AI. Like there's if so many. It's AI, it's definitely computer generated, which is fine. But right, there were right. some things about it. They're like, that looks like it might be AI. Yeah. And now she just looks kind of dumb basically. Especially, yeah. Cause she had a huge meltdown. About someone using the AI voice actors for a Scooby Doo fan film that was just like basically a demo to get work. Yes. Threatening to blacklist. Threatening them to blacklist from the this industry kid because and how dare they? And even if it wasn't her voice, it was. It's still problematic. You shouldn't be using AI at all. You should be using hiring real voice actors. Well, you shouldn't be buying AI art at all. You should be hiring real artists. Yeah, I know, right? Didn't you check? Didn't you check? Because a lot of other people were like, "Oh my god, this like." I, I immediately knew it was AI. So uh, some media outlets are picking up on it. Uh, latestly, oh, latestly, uh, Gray's a renowned voice actress known for work as Daphne, and uh, she's done a whole bunch of different voices, right? But she said, wow, I've been scammed out of $650. Uh, the AI lookup website is even saying it's AI. Yeah, he's lying. So she was going around saying, hey, I've got this new print. Everybody uh, come to my booth and get signed. And people are like, yeah, it's uh, it's totally, totally AI, totally AI. But I mean, it's still a print. It's still a piece of art. It's still generated, but it's not the same thing as hiring an artist. Yep. Uh, I paid an artist for this image, so I'm hoping it's not AI. Now, people are using, to be fair, uh, artists are using AI to finish their work. That is true. You know? Um, and that is something that is happening. Well, it happened at Wizards of the Coast, and they actually knowingly hired somebody who worked with AI to do official illustrations for Dungeons and Dragons. And basically, what he would do is he's kind of he would kind of blob out an image, and then the computer would go in and put all the detail work and mm -hmm. stuff in it, which can be tedious. But unfortunately, the computer is not good enough to fully understand like 
foreshortening yeah. or <laughs> you know, like, lighting. Where people's arms or bodies. You know, yeah, like, yeah. So yeah, it didn't go well. But yep, um, here was her original. Here was her original tweet. I got a brand new Daphne print at my signing table by David Smith. And uh, this person, did they? Oh, it's on Instagram. Okay, give them a follow and come see me this weekend in Canada for a hug and an autograph. Unless you're Egan Tillman, mm -hmm. don't uh, <laughs> don't go to her to table. Him. No hugs for you. No hugs for you, man. That's AI. That possibly stole from uh, uh, Sakimi Chan from Deviant Art. Disappointing. I'm not going to use it anymore. I didn't know, and I paid the artist to use it. I'm sorry somebody took advantage of your trust like that. Great. Oh, my. okay. So again, the irony in all of this is that Gray made such a huge effing deal and tried to destroy this, this guy's career right out of the gate because he dared use AI voices on a fan project. Right. That wasn't even for money. Claimed it was her voice being stolen and it, it was not. It was one of the other Daphne's before her and just basically made a huge, huge spectacle out of it only to get burnt by But then to be AI. Then selling AI prints. And then selling AI prints herself. So and everybody's like, oh, you poor thing. It's like, no, you can't, this, this is called karma in real time. This is a, what this is. This is cosmic karma. Cosmic karma. Yeah, her eyeballs like popping out of Yeah, her people face. are like, yeah, the eyes are dead giveaway. Like, yeah, you can tell because it, it, like, it doesn't quite know what to do. Uh, even more frustrating, they used an unpaid AI. The paid ones have at least, uh, they have the eyes down at this point. That's actually true. Mid-journey and stuff are, are much, much better. Uh, they aren't even out of pocket a cent for this grift. Um, I've yet to see a piece of AI art that pulled off the eyes, even touched up. They seem to be always a dead giveaway. Yeah, there's some, there's some issues here. A lot of times what they do though, with the eyes, they basically pull the eyes from like a photograph or something mm -hmm. and they just kind of replicate it. And it is getting better. No, that one's not good. <laughs> hundred percent AI art hands are wrong with some missing nails and the pink being way too thin. The irises pop off the eyes. Yeah. So this is, um, this is, uh, the artist they think that the AI knocked off. Um, so it's possible, it's possible, but people are, they're using, they're using an AI program to determine if, if Gray Delisle got hoodwinked into buying AI art. I know the irony is just, she's it like, just spins round and round on this one. And she's trying to apologize. Like, I'm so heartbroken guys. I'm sorry. You know what? It wasn't enough for, uh, Egan to say he was sorry. He had to be, even blocked. though it wasn't even her voice. It wasn't using. Yeah, he tried to apologize, and now uh, Jay Lender did apologize begrudgingly because yeah, he got his ass called out and got caught. Basically, he basically said by in his apology, it basically read, "Well, if I hadn't gotten caught, if I didn't, if it didn't turn back on me, because his original post was was really was really scathing and calling this guy out, and then it bit him in the ass, and then he apologized. I don't believe Great Alile apologized at all. I as of. My most current uh, knowledge of the situation, Gray Delisle has not apologized for effectively threatening to blacklist this guy from the animation industry. Right, because she's like, it, well, it doesn't matter if it's not my voice. It's still, you should have hired a, you should have hired um, actors instead of AI. And I remember I said, this is a teachable moment because, yeah. you know, it could be a generational thing. It could be, you know, because he didn't have money for it. You could have said, hey, we don't want this to happen in the industry. Um, I, I understand why you're doing this project. Why don't we just, like, have some people volunteer to to, to do the voices for it? Because you're not making any money on it anyway. Just as a, a show of what you should do as opposed to, you know, using AI. And they didn't. Um, I think he did, however, get some people that are going to do voices uh, that wasn't her. Yeah, he he actually, uh, last time I checked in on that situation, Egan was going to re-record the With voices. people that like, were going to do it. Yeah, because they offered their time. Yeah. Because they're like, and they, they did what you could yeah. don't teach well, yeah. teach well moment. And, and instead, she just like, she went right to blacklisting. Then turns yes. around, gets scammed by an, an artist for an AI piece, was going to sell it to people. Um, now, I mean, it's still art either way, but I was going to sell it to people. And then now they're like, oh, poor you. Where was the poor you before? You know what I mean? It was like, what the hell? I mean, this is the thing. Like, it's so obvious, though. That's the thing. People are picking this apart. They're like, one, the eyes. And two, there's like this random dude in the background of this print. Is there? Yeah. There's like this guy. Where like, random dude? Yeah, I, I noticed that for, uh, right off. I'm like, I didn't see it where. Yeah. He's actually here. Wait, hold on. Let's get. Oh, oh, yeah. Like, who is this guy? Is it Freddy? Like that? I mean, it's obviously like, who the hell is this? You know, obviously, obviously, obviously AI. And they're even like the name 
uh, Neural Emporium. Mm -hmm. Neural is AI. I thought that was, yeah. You know, so, the person does on purpose and take her money because I am wondering because I like am wondering she behaved. Uh, like I said, so, this is called karma. Yeah. yeah. Everybody's like ripping this apart. They're like, oh, you got ripped off. I'm like, I would be sorry if you already hadn't been a bitch not long ago. Now I just think you kind of deserve it. You only lost 600. It wasn't that much for her. Well, pe yeah, for her, that's not that much. You know, um, this person's like, hey, uh, would have expected after you went after a young creator for using AI, you yourself would have been more careful. To use a real artist, right? Yeah, and this person's like, just look at the Instagram page. Obviously, AI. I took one look at the Instagram account. It's enough to tell there's no real artist behind it. The same can be said about the Etsy shop. Uh, I don't know what to say. AI is the worst. Uh, hey, Gray, we're I, I just like, I mean, everyone's like, oh, Gray, it's okay. We forgive you. It's Not okay. Everybody. You didn't know. A lot of people are saying it threatens some random film studio with a lifelong blacklist because he used AI voices for a passion project, spends over half a grand on an AI generated image. LOL. Again, karma yeah. is a bitch. Yeah. And many say I am as well. <laughs> Not an AI print. There's going to be a lot of those. I'm sure there are a lot of those at conventions. I mean, it's bad enough that they were, they were ripping off actual artists and just like stealing people's prints and stealing people's cover. Like you go to convention, you see these walls of prints and it's just like, they just like pulled these images off the internet and it's obvious that they're, they're fake. I right? know. But this is like not just somebody else's artwork you're, you're claiming. This is like they just did AI. But, you know, again, AI is here to stay. Uh, you're going to see more people, more people like, I'm an artist because they generate AI artwork. That doesn't make you an artist. The computer is still the artist. And it's not even an artist. It's just stole from other people. Um, but it's going to be more and more. You're going to see more and more art generated by AI. Yeah. It's, it's not a good way. It's just like when people start doing digital art. Everybody's like, oh, my God, that's not art. Um, but at least digital art, someone still has to do the work. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think, I mean, eventually it's, it's going to be a tool again, just like, like digital art and they're already implementing it into Photoshop. And I think, I think AI art can be a valuable assistant. You're always going to have to have a human component. Right. That's what it needs limits. You, know, Next, you, you just don't need as many humans. You won't need as many humans. Did you see this? Next time, spend that money on glasses. Oh, oh, who's Velma now, Daphne? Jinkies. Jinkies, everybody's like, this is so. <laughs> oh, no. I think we're going to end it so, there. Well, or you could try to hire some artists working on the Scooby-Doo comic series at DC. You, or maybe me, as opposed to hiring someone who just scammed you with AI. 500, 600 bucks, you probably could have gotten a nice print from somebody that actually worked in the industry. And yeah. the rights to sell it. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think you could have. Because that's, that's about cover rate at some of the indie companies right now so well good luck with that good luck with that and again she's not going to get the blowback that uh, poor egan tillman got no I, I still nobody feels bad for her but yeah. it's like she just flipping roasted this guy for something she that he didn't even do yeah didn't apologize no. to our knowledge she yeah. might have and then you know threatened to blacklist him even after she found out it wasn't her voice still stood by her comment to blacklist him turns around and in and, and buys ai art <laughs> to sell yes yes Oh, the irony. I know. It's so fun. We're going to wrap this up. Yes. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. Go out to uh, the d -Res podcast. We actually have an interview with uh, Egan, given his side of the story. And he does seem like a, a pretty good guy. I don't think there was any malice intended. I don't think there was malice. I think intent no. matters. And there wasn't. And nope. there, you were intentionally trying to be a dick. That's different. Right. There wasn't. Uh, intent matters. We'll talk to you later. Yeah. Bye. Help support the channel. Go to thereef.support and get early access to podcasts, videos, and other content. That's thereef.support.